nodded to the unconscious moon. Of whom is he thinking? Of some high-born beauty? It may be. And who is poor little buttercup to think that his glance should fall on one so lowly? And it, yet if he knew, if he only knew. Ah, little buttercup, still on board? That is not quite right, little one. It would have been more respectable to have gone on shore at dusk. Trigger it. If the recollection of your sad, pale face changed the ship, I would fain to see you smile before I go. Ah, uh, little buttercup, I feel it would be long before I recover my accustomed cheerfulness. For misfortunes crowd upon me, and all my old friends seem to have turned against me. Oh, no, do not say all, dear That would be unfair to one, at least. True, for you are astonished to me. If I ever gave my heart again, he thinks it would be to one such as this. I am touched to the heart by your innocent regard for me, and were we differently situated, I think I could have returned it. But as it is, I can never be more to you than friends. I understand. You hold a loop for me because you are rich and lofty, and I poor and you. But you take care. The poor bumble woman has gypsy blood in her veins, and she can read destinies. Destinies. There's a change in store for you. A change? I be prepared. Chestnut slashes, more without garments, show new passions. 